What kind of technological breakthrough are we experiencing with 5G? Of course, uh, there are many, many new areas for communication needs like machine type communication and uh, ever increasing data rates. But I would like to address that beyond these technical novel features, the whole uh, field of wireless telecommunications might change drastically because of the of ma massive emergence of, of uh, densely spaced uh, small cell base stations in, in particular areas where current operator business models do not necessarily provide efficient enough results. So beyond technical changes, also operator field will drastically change. And that is probably even bigger than the technical novelties themselves. What type of collaborations will be possible in the near future between the industry and the research in the field of 5G? Of course, there are many, many, many opportunities, and uh, both European, European scale and nation, national research programs. And uh, now it's very important that both researchers and industry we understand each other well enough. What are the major targets? What are the key uh, challenges and bottlenecks? And try to focus on those. And after after a couple of years, I would say we have to also start to uh, experiment. And novel solutions in, in real network uh, testbed systems and, and maybe that, that's the direction that we are going to see more and more in the next few years. What kind of benefits could 5G technology development bring to people? Maybe I would like to highlight one point which has been missed quite a lot in recent discussions and, and it is for example indoor positioning enabled by 5G radio access. So far in previous generations, indoor positioning was add-on feature, uh, positioning in general was add-on feature, and uh, we never came up with a good efficient solution which would provide accurate enough positioning. And for example, with 5G, if we manage to develop good solution, good technical solution for indoor positioning particularly, that will open up completely new space for, for uh, completely new type of applications. Uh, automated robots and so on and so on. So that's probably more uh, one of the most interesting directions that we can expect to see beyond traditional connectivity in, in, in wireless systems.